Hello, friends. Today, I thought we'd address some comments below. <laughs> First of all, there's 60 pills, not 30. Ugh, 60, not 30. That's why it looks like they're down here. And I removed the silica packet. And yes, I have purchased more. Now, secondarily, I have a blemish that I'm none too pleased about, but I think it has nothing to do with this. I think it has to do with blood pants, very unfortunately, and it's very unsavory. Now, let's talk about the veganism for a second, because I am coming to the conclusion that it's causing me three things, and that is weight gain. I've gained two pounds. That is a very unwanted side effect. It's causing me stress because I have to constantly think about what I'm going to eat and how I, ugh. It's just, it's causing me stress and that's not what I want. And there's a third and very horrendous side effect, which is unpleasantly scented gas. So, whoever said I'm a total idiot for trying to do three things at once because it's not sustainable. They're correct. I am a total idiot, but I like trying things, so mind your business. Anyways, so those are my three comments about veganism. I don't know how much longer I can sustain it because I truly don't feel that it's causing me to like feel better. It just causes me a lot of bloating and stress. So I don't know, and weight gain, and who wants that? But, okay, so anywho, I'm going to put my makeup on, and when I get back, we're having a full discussion about Vanderpump Rules. Okay, I have my makeup on. What the F is this? Look, I'm trying a new thing. I started Glitter Crow's Feet. I'm into it. Glitter Crow's Feet. I don't actually think it looks that bad. It's a new trend. Try it. I'm trying to make fetch happen, okay? Glitter Crow's Feet. Now. Let's talk about Vanderpump Rules. I have a lot to say. First of all, I just love Vanderpump Rules and everything on Bravo. So let's go through all the characters and discuss. Okay, Sheena Marie, I think needs to carve out two hours and watch the 2003 classic, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, starring Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson. I think she's going on too strong and we all know what happened but I think she needs to refresh on how to lose a guy for 10 days and go from there in her next relationship. Jax and Brittany. I mean, we all want to believe that Jax has changed, but alas, I don't think it's ever gonna happen. But I think ladies, we've all been there when we wanna believe someone's gonna change and love us for us and never cause hurt. And I think that's Brittany now. That's Brittany now and she just has to ride it out. But in my opinion, one more false move and he should get the ax. Lala and James, I mean, I thought it was just really sad to see James so upset about his parents' divorce. I mean, to me, that just shows what a lasting thing getting divorced has on children. And I don't know, his relationship with his dad is really sweet. However, in terms of him and Lala, he clearly is still into her, hello. But for her, because she's dating such an elite, rich man, James is like the pool boy. And you don't marry the pool boy. You marry, you know, the person at the top. And I don't know, but obviously James and Lala have a thing. So if I was James's girlfriend right now, I would be concerned. Anyway. Now, oh, I forgot. You know, I own a boutique and I see a lot of stock photos all the time. And I have a stock photo of when Lala used to model and I'll link it below. I forgot about that. If I can find it, I'll link it below. It's really interesting. I was just kind of going through some clothes and I was like, hey, that's Lala Kent. Anyway, Tom and Katie, I want to know the entire story of Katie's fall through a skylight. What is up with that? Where she had to have her jaw clenched? Did you see that episode? I want to know more. Tom and Ariana. 
I think it's real interesting that they're talking about their sexual problems publicly. And I actually really like that because I think it just shows that even if you're young and beautiful, you still get to that point in a relationship where things are not quite as exciting and new as they used to be. And I think that really reflects on everybody and shows that, you know, there's normalcy in that. And I think part of the problem of like breaking up or like thinking that stuff isn't right is by comparing yourself to what you're seeing on, t on TV. And I think that by having Tom and Ariana discuss this is good for us to reflect in our own relationships. Lastly, I think having Billy on the show is groundbreaking. I think it's really interesting to see someone who's transgender just live in their life and like already be through the phase of transitioning. I watched the whole Caitlyn Jenner transition and I have to tell you, it really changed what I thought about transgenderism. Not that I had any strong feelings about it, but I definitely feel much more comfortable and like accepting and empathetic towards it. So anyway, those are my Vanderpump Rules comments. Would you like me to comment on any other Bravo shows? Because I watch all of them. Like, click, and subscribe if you would like to discuss Bravo TV more with me.